Hi everybody and welcome back. Today, finally we are diving into Ellen Wake for the first time. Blind playthrough, never tried it. We are playing the remastered version. I did not try uh, nor the remastered or the original, but yeah, we are going with the remastered. And I don't really know what to expect. I know that a lot of people love this game. I do know it's an action horror game. Um, that's good, I'm down. So yeah, that being said, here we go. I already love the main menu the atmosphere just sucks you in and you don't even know why that's a way to start let's go new game we're going normal we're going normal on all of our games so stephen king once wrote that nightmares exist outside of logic and there's little fun to be had in explanations they're antithetical mm. to the poetry of fear in a horror story, the victim keeps asking why, but there can be no explanation, and there shouldn't be one. The unanswered mystery is what stays with us the longest, and it's what we'll remember in the end. My name is Alan Wake. I'm a writer. You talk like a writer. Alan Wake. He's sort of telling us, get ready for the experience, not for the explanation of the experience. Imagination, but this dream unsettled me. It was wild and dark and weird, even by my standards. Hmm. So yes, it began with a dream. It began with a dream. Following a typical nightmare pattern, I was late, desperately trying to reach my destination, a lighthouse. For some urgent reason, I couldn't remember. I'd been driving too fast down a coastal road to get there. Ouch. Too late. Damn, he's dead. He was dead. I was convinced they'd put me in jail and I would never see Alice again. Alice. <gasps> okay, nice trick. So I'm guessing currently we are witnessing the dream itself, which Suddenly, his body was gone. Episode one, nightmare. Yeah, that's the nightmare. I was in shock from the crash. I could hardly stand my feet. Oh, reverse your controls for looking up and down. No. Did I do that? You can change camera settings in the menu option screen. Okay. Okay, sorry, I don't know what happened. It just all of a sudden appeared. Hold shift to sprint. Cool. But I want to... Okay, the mouse is moving way too fast. Uh, one second, guys. It happens in games. Let's see. Uh, controls, maybe? Oh, sensitivity. Let's take it down a notch. Vertical and horizontal. Let's see if it will be better. Uh, not yet. A bit more. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, guys. We are getting into it in a couple of seconds. Yeah, I think... That's a bit better. Maybe even a tiny bit more. <laughs> Jeez. Okay, I almost went all the way down. I had to go to the lighthouse. Yeah, I knew yeah. There was something important waiting now we're for talking. There. Okay, get to the lighthouse. That's our objective. The lighting effects are quite impressive. Well, it is a remastered version. I mean, I know it's an older game, but still. Hmm. Ellen Wake, Ellen Wake, Ellen Wake. Your books are all scattered. Well, he's a writer. Oh, examine with E. The radiator had broken when I hit the hitchhiker. The car wasn't going anywhere. I like the voice actor. I think it fits uh, the atmosphere. Okay, let's not drop. And there is the lighthouse. And look at that sort of a mysterious fog and mist. Oh, that's shiny light. Checkpoint reached. Yeah, let's go. Sorry, birdie. 
Rain Cove Point. Look at you go! Get to the lighthouse. I love the opening of this game. Oh, what is this shiny over there? Coming through. Rigid collapsed. I'd have to find another way to the lighthouse. Hmm. Huh. Coffee thermos. Collectible thermos picked up. One out of one hundred. Can I also walk slowly? Oh, can jump. Yeah, with control. Got it. Cool. When I want to explore things or pick up items, it will be convenient. So I think I'll have to jump. But before we'll jump over, let's see what else we got around. Oh, birds. Rain Cove Point Lighthouse. So yeah, the bridge collapsed completely. Cannot open the trash. Am I missing? Yeah, it looks like me. That's not good. But it is a nightmare, so maybe I should not be too worried about it. Okay, it's scary. Okay, that is scary. Oh, what? You don't even recognize me, do you, Ryder? Um. I think you're God. You think you can just make up stuff? Uh, okay, we're going down. I'm sorry I killed you. It was an accident. Okay, okay. He's staying up there. We're safe. Alright. There you go. Space to jump. Things are being destroyed all around me. Damn, you can dodge enemy attacks. Shift plus Ah, oh, okay. You can't stop me. Uh what do I do? Oh Good work, successful dodge are sometimes highlighted with cinematic I moments. The hitchhiker was a character from the story I've been working on. Oh. And just like that, he's gone. Character from your story, man. Your stories are scary. Thank you. It is very... I feel like I'm watching a movie, not playing a game. And I love it. It's really cool. And I love how he narrates the experience as you go. How does it feel to die by the hands of your oppression? He didn't kill me yet. You'll have to catch me first. Okay. <laughs> Can I catch this? No, okay. No time, never mind. <laughs> oh, you're tired? Oh man, it's like the evil within. Run, Ellen, run! By the way, I need to play the evil within too as well. Step by step. Are you friendly? Yeah, I think it's friendly. Can you... Just... Wait a minute, you need to rest. There you go. That's my real sprint. Thank you. Where are we going? Sheesh. No. Thank you. Winds are howling. Don't die! Oh, let's go no. out and help him. No. God damn it, die. Why no. didn't you no. come inside? No. Sacrificed himself for me. I was trapped. There was no way out. Dude. Okay, chill. <laughs> I 
Can I interact with something here? Ah, okay. I cannot explore peacefully. Uh, I guess not through the door. Maybe the window. The window. The window. The window. Oh. Okay, I'm dying here. Okay. Okay. We got an exit. Follow the light. I can do that. Oh, I'm gonna drop dead like that. <laughs> Sorry, I don't wanna fall down. Going to the safe haven. All right. Stay in the safe haven until you completely heal. Ah, the light heals me. I have something important to tell you. Oh. It goes like this: for he did not know that beyond the lake he called home lies a deeper, darker ocean green, where waves are both wilder and more serene. To its ports I've been. To its ports I've been. Do you understand? No, not really. No. Follow my light. <laughs> no. Follow the light. I understand that. I can follow the light. Okay. Okay, that is awesome. I entered your dream to teach you. The darkness is dangerous. It's sleeping now. When it feels you coming, it will wake up. There's no time. I can only show you the most important thing. Okay. The most important things that will have to do. This way, there's no time. The hitchhiker has been taken over by the dark presence. You can't oh. hurt him now. The darkness protects him from all harm. Only light can drive the darkness away and make him vulnerable again. Revolver ammo. Here, take the light. Pick up the flashlight. Yes, yes. Focus. Ah, there you go. I was just. Distracted by the ammo. No more darkness for you. Oh. Out of batteries, that's really bad for us. You did it. Now the darkness no longer protects him, but it's still inside, controlling him. He can't huh. be saved. He's still a threat. He is still your enemy. So Here, take the gun. Now we're talking. Now you'll die. Oh! There you go. Ah! Nice move, villain. That's how we do it. Thank you. you. That is all. I will give you back your dream now. Thank you, helpful voice. In the nightmare, a terrible darkness was taking over the world. The lighthouse was the last safe place on Earth. Interesting nightmares you have. Okay. Uh, boosting the light with right click blinds the enemy and burns the darkness away faster. Oh, I see. Okay, and that's also how I aim, so... Item limit reached, okay. Boosting the light with right click blinds enemies. Got it. Let's go. To the lighthouse. Are you down here? You can teleport. Yeah, I knew it. That's how we do it. This is it. Oh! Nice trick. What? Am I surrounded or something? Oh, I think I'm uh, in the shadow. That's why I need to heal. Yeah, that's right. Stay in the light. Let's heal up. Okay. Thermos. Let's take it. Coffee. I love coffee, man. Break it. 
It's not Resident Evil, huh? <laughs> I thought maybe. Okay. So, what's going on here? Emergency. Oh! Flare gun? Press 1 to switch weapons. Okay, so... Okay, cool. I wonder if I should use it to fight or maybe to signal for someone. Just like okay, let's try the new weapon. Okay, badass. I like my new toy. It's not bad. It's not bad at all. But I don't have a lot of rounds, so I should stick to the revolver. Okay. Yeah, that's right. We don't. Okay, uh, I'm gonna run out. Maybe I should just go for it and not spend time fighting. I can keep this up. Well, I believe you. That's the lighthouse. We are running for it now. Oh! Jesus! Okay, you're insane! Oh my god, stamina! Can I see where it's coming from? Oh! Jeez! I see some shadow above me. And I see coffee. Okay. One second. Kill me after the coffee. There you go. Oh my god, I cannot run. Stamina problem. Let's rest. I'm taking some risks here, I know. We made it. To the lighthouse. Wow. That's one heck of a nightmare. Shadows are not good for us. Just another nightmare. Everything Alice? is fine. You dozed Beautiful. Off. Right. Anything more than dozed off would be news for everyone. Cheer up, handsome. We're here. So that's Alice, I'm guessing? What an intriguing opening that was. Wow. It's really sexy and fast. Welcome to Bright Falls. Oh, it's pretty. Checkpoint reached. Oh, wow. That was fun. Let's act like we're on vacation. Go stand next to that old gentleman. I want a shot of you with the town in the background. <laughs> sure. I'll even give you a title for the shot. A city boy. Moments before he got eaten by a bear. <laughs> Pause for Alice. One second, I want to explore. Alice, would you forgive me for a second? Oh, that looks really nice. Before he missed the shot. Okay, okay. She's uh, in a hurry. Hi, my girlfriend wanted to pause you alongside you. Time to visit our town. Deerfest is just two weeks away. Deerfest, huh? Did you hear that, honey? You have a lovely wife. Uh, if you don't mind me saying. I'm Pat Maine, by the way. Nice to meet you. Yeah, I'm Alan White. 
I won't pretend I don't recognize a famous writer such as yourself, Mr. We Wade. found a thing. A pleasure. I'm an avid reader myself. I hope this isn't too presumptuous of me, but I'm the night host at the local radio station. Any chance I could get an interview? Look, Mr. Maine, I'm on vacation. In fact, I'd appreciate it if we could keep my being here just between the two of us. I'm sure you understand. Fair enough. You can trust me to be this year. Not a hard Good. to track down if you change your mind, though. I hope you two have a lovely holiday. Thank you. You got the shots? Very nice. How do I look? I got a couple of really good ones. And I see you made a friend. That's cute. <laughs> right. Yeah? Hey, bestseller. How's my favorite writer? Are you there yet? Barry. Yeah. We just Barry. Got... Are the locals giving you trouble? Just say the word and I'll hop on a plane and come make sure that you're left alone, Al. No, Barry. We're fine. Great. Great. Just want to make sure you can relax and recharge. So, how is the place? Has it gotten your creative juices flowing? Barry, we're just settling in. Okay, Al. I'll call back later to make so sure... So, Barry's my agent you or something? Me if there's a problem, okay? Okay. Publisher. Just looking out for you, buddy. Talk to you later. I love you too, Barry. You know he's going to be calling you every five minutes. Barry is Barry. I can always turn off the phone. What did I Maybe you should. <laughs> Text message from Barry. He says hi to you too. <laughs> Alan, we're here. Come on, let's get back to the car. Uh, maybe now you'll give me a chance to explore. Over here. What is that? Come on, Slowpoke. You get the full It's Christmas here. or something? I've made all the arrangements. I drive the car. I'll even carry the Man, jeez. All you have to do is drag your cute butt into the car and enjoy the ride. Yeah, okay, like okay. You a lazy bastard for a husband. Maybe can talk to him as well? Damn yuppies. What? Okay. Authorized personnel only, so not me. Okay, I think there's nothing here. Let's uh, get into the car. <laughs> yeah, but I got a thing for him. Come on, you lazy bastard. Let's go. For him? What? Uh, that's our car? I'm not sure. Yeah. We need to stop at the local diner to get the cabin key from the landlord. A Mr. Carl Stuckey. He's waiting for us. All right. I'll go fill her up while you get the key. I'll pick you up here in, say, 15 minutes. Sure. Alan, thank you for coming here with me. I love you too. Go on. I'll promise to behave. Bye, beautiful. I'd forgotten there were still places like this. Towns where everybody knew everybody. Welcome to the Oh Dear Diner. Hi, I was wondering if you could help me. I'm looking for... Mr. Wake. Alan, wake. Oh, God. I am your biggest fan. I know you say that all the time, but I really am. I'm glad to hear that. It's probably so Rose. tired of it. Rose, I'm looking for Mr. Stuckey. Carl Stuckey? Carl? Oh, of course, Mr. Wake. He must have gone to visit the restroom. He'll be back in a moment. I can't believe it. I've got all of your books. Why the music shifts to something very scary? I took it out of the window. It was just for a second, but here. I heard well, it. Okay, good for you. Find Carol Stucky. Oh, just don't blame me when you fall in love, cause it'll break your heart. Do me a favor, Sonny. I could really use a tune right now. Coconut number six in the jukebox. Well, let's help someone. I do it myself, Why not? But both of my legs I'll just get the coffee first. Bad circulation. All right, yeah. all right. Number six is in. Coconut again? You disgust me. <laughs> Call yourself a rocker. Unbelievable. <laughs> Let's hear it. It does that. Get stuck. Yeah. You need to give it a good solid whack. All right. There you go. 
Now that's what I'm talking about, yes! Happy to help. Welcome to Bright Falls, the home of the annual Deer Fest. Guys, that's uh, the song that during the credit roll in Reserve Your Dogs. I love this song. It's good. Okay, stuff on it, that's not for me. Lime in the coconut. It's a good song. Uh, what's happening here? Ma'am? That's not normal behavior. Just like in my nightmare. I didn't want to wait. I wanted to find Stucky to get the key and get out as soon as possible. The waitress was giving me a headache. Overeager fans always did. I guess uh, the game kind of tells me you need to go. Oh, just a bulb. But probably there's something else going on here. Okay, it's getting kind of creepy. Well, we don't want to go into the ladies' room. Okay. Something's Hello? going on. Mr. Stucky? Stucky is stuck. Carl oh, jeez. Unfortunately, he was taken ill. But I have the key for you and instructions on how to get to the lake. Okay. I wish you a good stay in my cabin. I'll come by later to check how you've settled in. And That's the scariest wife. woman I've ever met. I insist. Okay. Thanks. Thank you, though. Okay, now she doesn't look scary, but... The way they directed that scene really gripped me out. Cauldron Lake is a special place. Very inspiring. Gotcha. Thanks for the key. Don't scare anyone like that, okay? Jeez. You got lucky this time, young man. You can hurt yourself in the dark. This you may want to sit down. <laughs> you look like you're frozen, lady. It's been too long already. Even that sounds better than your singing. Are you alright? <laughs> <laughs> Those are funny. There's a lot of character in those characters. The Andersons, they're uh, local musicians. We're waiting for Dr. Hartman to come pick them up. They wandered off from his clinic at the Cauldron Lake Lodge. What? Mm, okay. Okay, I guess uh, we need to leave the diner. I'll Look at me. Back to work as soon as Dr. Uh -huh. Hartman... Bye, Mr. Wake. Mission accomplished. The key and the directions. My hero. <laughs> I got some flashlights, just in case. Oh, we need that in a horror game. Thanks. Hey, wait! Mrs. Wake! Your... Your keys! Uh that diner was a real nut house. <laughs> Not good. We left our key behind. Can you believe this place? This would make a wonderful setting for a book. We're supposed to be on vacation, Word. Alice. I'll figure it out when we get back home. <laughs> okay. Okay. We can talk about this later. Bad man in here on PBF I didn't want to talk about it. I wanted to bury my head in sand. Here's another one of my favorites to go with it. Once upon a time, I was a successful writer, but that was a long time ago. I hadn't hmm. been able to write a word in two years, not oh. since my last book. And now the weather. It's going to be a clear night, so you folks in the big city might want to look up every once in a while. See those stars winking down at you? It gets pretty dark out here, but they'll light your way. This is our cabin? Wow. 
I guess it is. It's gorgeous, Alan. It's something, all right. Yeah, it's beautiful. Don't worry, honey. I'll get you inside safe and sound before it gets dark. And I've got the flashlight. I know. I'm okay. Alice had a phobia. The fear of darkness. I wanted to make sure we were inside with the lights on before sunset. Okay, we'll do it fast. Just quick exploration. Nothing too serious. But I think we got nothing here. I think. She's waiting, yeah. Okay. Oh, I can go back like a really long way. Ah, okay, I think maybe I shouldn't. Yeah. That's uh, not uh, way too long. Addy's got a phobia, so let's head inside. Coming? She's coming. It is stunning here, though. It's a lovely place. It's probably scary at night, but it's still very beautiful. Amazing place to get away from everything, you know? That can't be right. <laughs> that cannot be right. Bird leg cabin. Oh man, this is so peaceful! Many horror stories start with a very peaceful scenery. Let's see what we got around here. Hmm. Can I go inside? There's even a door, or... Oh. There's the door. An old generator had been connected to the power cable. Okay, what do I need to do here? Ah, I see. Okay. Let there be light. I don't know if you are seeing the achievements I'm getting from Epic Stores, but that's the sound that you are hearing. Okay, so we got power. That's good. Sounds good. I'll look around a bit. Sure thing. Have fun. Thank you. It was a beautiful place. I yeah. told myself I could rest here, sleep here, and forget about my work. I thought we could be happy here. I'm sensing a but. Return to Alice. Okay. Now let's go back. You know, it is a remastered version of an older game, but still the original game, it is very old, so all things considered, it's a very beautiful game. I like the aesthetics, the presentation, it's very nice. Okay. Alice? Mm. Honey? The way he asked it sounds as if he's worried. To just enter the house, maybe she's here. A shoebox filled with books by Thomas Zane sat on the shelf. I'd never heard of him before. Interesting. Never heard of him, you say. And you're a writer. What does that mean? Well, she's not outside. Should I be worried? She's standing the outside. Turn on. The deer fest guests have already started to arrive. Just ran into one on the ferry. A famous artist, no less. 
We'll see if we can rope him into an interview later on. Now let's uh, go to the phones, caller. You're on. That's the old man I talked to. Hi, Pat. It's Rose. Why, hello, Rose. What's on your mind? I told you not to tell everybody. And just announce it on the radio. The old door had played a trick on me. I was wounded coming out in the dark. The girl from the diner is well talking about it. And I got some more coffee. That would be, I don't know, four out of 100 or something? Or three? Four or three. Alan, I'm upstairs. Oh, okay. I'm She's upstairs. It's fine. She's here. Okay. Come in. Well, Damn. Hello there. I'm not the surprise. It's in the study. Go take a look. <laughs> okay. Okay. You can also be the surprise. But the study. Where is the study? Ah, there you go. Typewriter. Alice. I thought you don't want to Who write, but maybe you'll have to. Confession to make. I thought maybe you could write here that a change of scenery would get you past. Damn, it, Alice, you. Everyone. Hey, keeps... hey, hey! Just hear me out. There's a local doctor, Dr. Hartman. I read a book of his. He has a private clinic here. He specializes in helping artists. Maybe... So now you want to get me committed? No! It's not like Damn. that. That's not... Alan? Alan? I don't! Just don't! I don't want to hear it! God damn it, Alice! Oof. God damn it! I knew she wouldn't follow me in the dark. I needed some time alone to think things through. You got pissed really fast. Oh. Okay, should we address the fact that there was some character, you know, for a second there? Alice? Yeah, we have to go back. There was someone there. Oh my god, are you telling me she's dead already? The had gone dark. All the lights were out. Alice! Come in! Where are you? Help! Alice, I'm coming! It's alright! Oh, jeez! No! What the hell? Help me! Hold on, I'm coming! Come on, sprint faster! We lost her already? Oh no! Dive! Jump! <gasps> Keep going, Alice. <gasps> Wake up! Alice? We're in a car. Waking up in the crashed car felt like I had woken from one nightmare and entered another. I couldn't remember how I got there. All I knew was that something terrible had happened to Alice. Ah, okay, yeah, I see. I thought for a second maybe that entire section dead, with Alice was a, I'd have a nightmare, but no. Foot. Damn, checkpoint reached. Okay, I thought maybe, now that I said it, maybe the entire section of the cabin was a nightmare as well but no it really happened unfortunately so it feels or looks like alice was murdered but we are not 100 percent sure we don't know that so we need to find out what happened damn that was that was sad among alice's things was a book the creator's dilemma by a dr emil hartman seeing the book brought back my fight with alice i didn't like it and I didn't like the guy's smug face on the <laughs> cover either. The guy's smug face, huh? Okay, I don't know exactly where I need to go. I just go with it, but I'm guessing down here. And we the have no idea where we are exactly. Bet. They'd have a phone I could use. It looked like a long hike through the forest to get there. Well, step by step. We have a destination. To the gas station, let's go. Damn. Bye bye, car. It was a 
That was nice. The cool thing about this game is the fact that you have no idea at any point if you are in a nightmare or in reality. I mean, when we were at the diner it felt very real and that scene with Alice on the boat. But um, now that we are back here and waking up after an accident, we don't remember how we got into in the first place. I question everything now at this point, you know? That's super bright. Feels like a nightmare this time. Hello? Is someone there? Maybe when there are those, uh, you know, intense lights and all that, and the enemies, that's when we the are in a nightmare? The sheets of paper were pages from a manuscript entitled Departure. That was the name I planned to use for the next novel I had never gotten started. Uh -huh. I was named the author. I hadn't written it. I couldn't remember writing it. In the scene on the page, the hero was attacked by an axe murderer in the woods at night. You have found manuscript pages. You can access them with F5 button. You got the two. The title page of the manuscript and Wake attacked by a shadowy murderer. Departure by Alan Wake. How do I... Can I flip pages or something? So, I see every single one of those, it's like actually a single page, specifically a page, not, okay. The man turned to face me. His face was covered in shadows. It was hard to make him out in the darkness of the forest that surrounded us, but the axe he lifted was plain to see. It glistened with the blood of his victim. He grinned madly. The shadows were alive, distorting his features. It was a scene from a nightmare, but I was awake. Oh, I love the way it is written. Oh, it's going to be so much fun to find all those pages. How many do I have in total? And what is that sort of a fiery icon? I do hope I'll find everything. I think it's going to be good. So yeah, I think, okay, I'm kind of taking it back. I think you can tell when you are in a nightmare and when you are not. Definitely when you see those uh, excessive lights and the shadows uh, and all that that can hurt you. And enemies that coming at you, that's probably the nightmare sections, right? I'm guessing. Okay, let's continue. Anybody there? Please, I've been in an accident. Yeah, saw that uh, sort of a silhouette for a second. Checkpoint. The lights up ahead were a good sign. Maybe I wouldn't have to hike all the way down to the gas station to find a phone. Oh, sounds good. Let's try. Find help. The objective updated. Okay, nothing here. Maybe some coffee? <laughs> Okay, uh... Let's see, I cannot cross the fence. Maybe I can go... If I'll do this... Oh, there you go. Oh, that's Anybody a bad sign. Please. Ouch, I've I felt it. I don't have my gun with me. That's not good. Oh, it's going to be scary in here. Hey! Hey, you! Phil! There's been an accident. I need help. Listen, Deposit. I need to... Premium cabins for rent in... Oh, hell. Carl... Yep. Hell is accurate. Please, thank you. Non-refundable... Reservation deposit required. Fair and square. 
Only now I get it guys. The key that the lady gave us is the wrong key to the wrong place, so we were tricked into getting into the cabin. Okay. Rest in peace. I'll need to use the lights because I don't have a gun. Carl, you're insane! Carl, are you Spider-Man? Okay, okay, okay. Go, go, go. Get inside. to figure a way out of this. Any second now and Stucky would be knocking on the door with his axe like Nicholson in The Shining. That's exactly what went through my mind. Here's Johnny. <laughs> okay, you got a gun. That feels better. During your call for help. Okay. Call, call, call. It's the yes. Right Falls Sheriff Station. Only I Hello? Hello, man? Oh, Stucky! Stucky, you're sucky. Oh, out, 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 out. Go out. Out. I cannot go out through the door. That's bad. Uh, what do we do? Jump! Damn, Stucky! You're intense! We reached the gas station. Okay. The bulldozer had gone over the cliff with the office. I hope Stucky had suffered the same fate. Yeah. I wasn't planning on staying to find out. Nope. All right, all right. Ouch! Stepped into this one. Thank you. There you go. Oof. Ouch! Into that fence. There you go. Out of batteries. Three rounds left. My head pounded with a concussion. I'd never fired a gun outside a shooting range. And now I just killed someone. Or something. There were no bodies. They just disappeared. If I was so, dreaming, it felt real enough to make me sick. Yeah. Kick? What did we achieve by kicking it? Ah, now I can the cross. Was the last yeah. Place I wanted to go, but I had no choice. Maybe I can find I some ammunition around. Oh, an arrow. Hmm, where are you taking me? Eerie hand-painted graffiti was revealed by my flashlight. Someone had hidden a chest of supplies near. Hell yeah! Woohoo! Now we're talking. I need more ammunition for my revolver though. There you go. That's what we're talking about. Nice. Oh, give me more light. That always helpful. Let's see if I can find more ammunition around here. I need it. Mm. I'm guessing that's it. Yeah. Alright. Okay. We can get by now. You're already tired? Oh! 
Nice one! I thought maybe the barrel would explode. Oh, I thought I dodged it. There you go. Emergency. Great. Oh, batteries. Perfect. And some ammunition. Feel better now. Let's not touch this thing. Should I go over this? Under? No. Maybe from here? Pick up manuscript. Oh, cool. Let's read it. Those are good. Oh, all the way over here. Rose daydreams about Wake. Rose knew she had been gushing, but right now she didn't care. As far as she was concerned, her brief meeting with Alan Wake was literally the high point of her life. She watched as he got in the car with his wife. She was pretty, confident, at ease with Wake. Not like Rose. They were perfect for each other. She'd have given anything to be called their friend. Yeah, Rose was a big fan. I think maybe I should go over this somehow. Oh, wait a minute. Can we do something about this? That would be one way to cross. Uh, can't see. Any way to interact? Can't you climb in? No. So I guess I'm going from here. Yeah, okay. Got it. That lady that gave me the key that I should not have taken. Should have waited for Carl. She tricked me. She gonna hunt me, ain't she? When I saw the river below, something uncoiled <coughs> itself inside my head. I realized that I'd have to find a way across. I didn't even want to look at the water. Why? <laughs> okay. Okay, guess we're doing this. Let's not fall down. There you go. Simple enough. Let's go over here. Uh huh. Yes, another page. Barry's arrival. Miller was bouncing off the walls. He jumped on a plane after his calls were ignored by both Al and Alice for several days. It could mean that they were both on a second honeymoon, but Barry didn't buy it. Al had been way too unstable for that. Not sleeping, messed up. Mm. Barry had years of experience dealing with Alan Wake, and he couldn't ignore it. Something was wrong. Uh huh. The plot thickens. I came here only for the manuscript. Ah, there you go. So. So I, you can miss those, you can miss those pages, so I should look carefully, but maybe I'll try not to die first. I want something special to eat. Stucky was still out there, in the dark, stalking me. Oh, batteries, ammunition, let's go. Stucky? Yo, Stucky. Oh, ding it. There you go.
No, you won't. That's right. Yeah, I'm getting the hang of this. It's definitely more action-y than survival horror in terms of not the pacing, but in terms of the difficulty and how much, uh, how easy it is to heal, for example, things like that. But we just started, so maybe it will get way more difficult as we go. Okay, uh, another checkpoint. We are getting close to the gas station. Let's look around. You can always find the munition, manuscripts, you know. Try to look thoroughly. <laughs> You're getting tired fast. Okay, take a moment. Oh, found something. You want me to go up? Let's go. There it is. Taken. They're taken. Taken are filled with darkness. Who are taken? What is this? Well, thank you for the staff. Sweet. We're doing good now. We are doing fine. 14 batteries and five rounds of this. Sweet. Okay. Oh, he fell this one, sorry. <laughs> so... How... Do we continue? There you go, from here. The staircase was broken. I had to make my way up some other way. Gotcha. I'll get it. But first, what you got for me? Ooh! Thank you, game. I couldn't stay here. There had to be a way to get up there. There's a ladder. What's this? There was no power. There was bound to be a generator somewhere at the logging site. Yeah, I see this green light over there. Okay, so a ladder. So let's try it. Maybe a manuscript. Apparently there's nothing here. With all this forestry equipment around, there had to be something I could use to reach the top. We got company! A lot. Okay, you know what? Let's try this. Very effective. Very effective. Anyone survived? Nope. It's a great weapon. Okay, you know the drill. Bingo. We're making progress now. Reach the path above. Got something else for me around here? Let's check inside. Build small logging. Danger hard hat area. Another page. Wake attacked by birds. I heard them before I saw them, swooping down from the sky and screeching as they came. I spun around just as the cloud was upon me. For an instant, I stared into a hundred dead eyes, black pearls glittering in the darkness. I raised the flashlight and the swarm exploded like fireworks. Feathers burned, turned into ash. 
I couldn't hear my scream above theirs. First of all, great voice acting. Also, I love how, even though it's dark, it's very poetic the way they're writing it. Um, yeah, you know, it is a game about a writer, so it's fitting that the writing will be accordingly good enough. So they nailed it. Oh my god. Hell yeah. Ooh, mess with us now. Got a shotgun. Okay, uh, where was it? There it is. I think we're about to get up there. Soon enough. Oh, I see coffee over there! Ah. Okay, first of all, let's get this one fixed. That should work. Now let's get a coffee. Thank you. I wonder what you get if you get 100 uh, coffee thermoses. So that's why I need a letter. Sweet. I love when things are making sense. So. No. Nope. Almost fell down there. Uh, I was a bit clumsy, but we made it. All right. Got something for me over here? Nope. Shotgun ammunition. That's what I'm talking about. Well, I was just outside for a breath of fresh air and what a night. I I know most of you are probably in your beds by now, but if you're still up and around, take a moment. Step outside for a spell and breathe in deep. Mm, the weather is absolutely still, the sky is crystal clear, it's like the forest is quietly breathing along with you. As you listeners know, I'm a, I'm a night owl, and it's on nights like this I wish I wasn't cooped up in the studio. Makes an old man like me wish I could just roam wild. But here I am, and it would keep you company all night long if I weren't. Uh, it looks like uh, I'm not the only one staying up late. Caller, you're on here. Hey, Pat, it's Maurice Horton. Hello, Maurice. Maurice. Well, I was just taking Toby on his walkies. Oh, isn't it beautiful out there? Sure, but Pat, the reason I called is that Toby heard something rustling in the undergrowth and took off after it, and I couldn't find him. Probably a rabbit. Sure. Toby loves rabbits. Well, sure. Anyway, I figured that, you know, it's runs into Toby, they could grab him. My number's on his collar. And Toby's a friendly dog? <laughs> Toby loves people. Usually he comes back, but we, we were pretty far from home, and it sounds like he went pretty wild there. Great dog, but just too dumb for his own good. Oh. <laughs> well, Maurice, it's out there now. Hope Toby comes home soon. Yeah, thanks, Pat. You have a good night now. Do you think something happened to Toby? Do you think we'll find out? Uh oh. Ooh. What we got here? That music though. It's found ya. Come to Papa. We are packing a lot of good stuff. I feel confident. Another manuscript. Uh, Wake finds pages. At first I kept finding the pages as if by accident. The book I couldn't remember was either a terrible and true prophecy or an act of creation that had rewritten the world. I began to hunt the pages feverishly, for they held the answer to the mystery. With it, I could save myself. With it, I could save Alice. I hope we can save Alice. Um. In a way, I think this entire game we are experiencing the novel he's written, the mystery, and we are going through it, probably 
the entire the gas game. station was closer now. It's light welcoming in the darkness. Paul makes the best dogs in the state. Well, uh -oh. Burster is the best with no cops. Monster dog. <clears throat> Second best. The famous dog is. Where are you? Dude. Okay. Okay. I see. See what's going on here? Damn it. Thought I got it right. Ooh, not over. That's better. Gave me a scare. And it did manage to hurt me a bit. There you go, this is another one. Um, TV in the gas station. I stepped into the gas station's garage. It was dark and quiet. The place was a mess. It looked like someone trashed the place or that there'd been some kind of fight. Light spilled into the room through an open door at the back, and I made my way toward it. Without any warning, I was blinded by a bright light. An old portable TV on the shelf had come alive by itself. Impossibly, I could see myself on the screen, talking like a madman. Oh. So that's what happened at the gas station. We had similar experience at that... Uh, sort of a... Was it a cabin? I don't remember. A cabin we've been before and we saw the TV with all those eyes. That was Ellen's eyes. We got more company. You wanna go? Oh! Someone behind me! Surround me all the time. Clever, aren't you? Damn it, I thought I'd dodge that. That's better. Now, where you go? Jeez. They're coming from behind as well. Clever creatures. Thank you. Feel like I'm kind of lost, but I have the campus, so we need to go that way in general. From here, right? Ooh, what do you have here? Yes. Yes, yes, yes. Can you make it through? Guess no. Hmm. So I think we need to go this way. You serious? Jesus. Where are you? Show yourself. <laughs> when you cannot see them, that's the scariest part. Come on. <laughs> no, I see you. Oh, there's a lot. Bye bye. I love this weapon. I love it. Ok, 
Okay, we made it. What's this place? Oh, and yet another shotgun? Ah, I guess it's the same thing. Okay. Some batteries. And... A TV? Science. It bestows immortality on those who advance it to elevate all of mankind. Newton, Einstein, Sagan, princes among men. But the price for such a legacy is steep indeed. In Night Springs. Tonight's episode, I want to watch it. <laughs> a quantum suicide. No, don't end. <laughs> there you go. It would take a courageous man to change the script. Having called a press conference, Dr. Barclay Colvin is about to demonstrate that very courage. Meanwhile, we can do this. Of the press. I am Dr. Barclay Colvin, and I'm glad so many of you could join me here at the Moorcock Institute. Tonight, I'm going to give a practical demonstration of the many worlds interpretation. Okay, I'm down. See, Let's hear it. This is a loaded 9mm pistol. It shall be part of a thought experiment. And now, <laughs> a real... Oh, this thing went for me. Known as a quantum suicide. Did he say suicide? Is that a real gun? <laughs> He's kidding, right? Please, please, stay calm. There is, what is this? no risk. Observe what occurs when I place the weapon oh, are you serious? against my own forehead. Now, you might think this round is merely a dud. Not so. Observe the flower pot. And yet, I myself cannot be harmed with this gun. <laughs> with each pull it's of so trigger, stupid, two two realities it. branch off. <laughs> one in which the weapon didn't fire, and one where it did. With the frame skip, that was I have ensured so good. that this reality is always the former. I have bestowed upon myself quantum immortality. Under no circumstances can this gun kill me. Uh, so wait, wait, wait. What you're saying is that every time you pull the trigger, in another reality, you die? Yes, yes, of course, but that's completely trivial. There's an infinite number of things that could happen at any moment, and they always do happen somewhere. The point is, this one thing did not happen here. You're insane, Colvin. Insane? Insane? Hey, was this thing supposed to be plugged in? I stumbled on it. You fools! Gaze upon quantum immortality! Poor, poor Dr. Colvin. Filled by his own hubris or the ignorance of the masses. Perhaps he should have left the crate unopened, the decaying atom unobserved. <sighs> Curiosity often kills the cat in night springs. <laughs> that was such a good time. I s I'm so glad I stayed for the entire show. That was such a good time. <laughs> okay, on that high note, I think we're gonna call it an episode. Uh, guys, I'm having such a good time. This game sucks you in so fast. It's quite incredible. I don't know what it is, the cinematic vibe, the film noir vibe, the way the narrator, Alan Wake, kind of works you through the events. I think that's what really gave the game the special appeal. I don't know, guys. I'm just, I cannot wait to continue. I hope you enjoyed this one as well, and I'll see you soon. Thank you for watching. Science. It bestows immortality on those who advance it to elevate all of mankind. In Night Springs.